Suppose we have a geometric sequence uh, a n is equal to a times r to the n minus 1. Suppose we have this geometric sequence. And let's say we want to add together the first n terms of the geometric sequence. That is, we want to look for the partial sum s sub n here. Well, by the formula, we're going to see that s sub n, right, is going to equal the first term, which is a, plus the second term, which is a r, plus the third term, which is a r squared, all the way up to the nth term, which will be a r to the n minus 1, like we saw before. Now, if we take this sequence, this, 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 this partial sum right here, and we times everything by r, right, r times s n, well, we could distribute that r into all the terms in the sequence, and we're going to end up with an a r plus an a r squared plus an a r cubed all the way up to an a r to the n. Uh, and so we get this from just times in Sn by AR. What we're going to do next is we're going to subtract these things. If we take Sn minus Rsn, this is going to look like A plus AR plus AR squared all the way down to AR to the N minus 1. That's the Sn part. And then if we subtract from it the Rsn part, we're going to get an AR plus an AR squared all the way down to we're going to get an ARN minus 1 and a AR to the N, like so. And so on the left-hand side, you have SN minus RSN. Notice there's a common factor of SN there. We can factor it out, and we're going to end up with 1 minus R times SN. That's the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, you're going to notice there's a lot of cancellation going on here. You're going to have an AR minus an AR. They will cancel out. You'll get an AR squared that cancels with that. Then the AR cubes will cancel, and this will continue all the way down until you get to AR n minus 1, cancel AR n minus 1. This will leave us with just two terms, really, a term at the very beginning, which, we, which is A, and then you have this negative AR, in, AR to the n at the end there. And in which case, if we put those together, we're going to get A minus AR to the n, and which case, then to solve for Sn, what we can do is we just divide both sides by 1 minus r, divide by 1 minus r, in which case we then get that Sn will equal a minus a r n over 1 minus r, for which also the numerator, everything's divisible by a, so you can factor out the a, in which case you get 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. And this gives us the general formula for the sum of terms in a geometric sequence. This gives us a formula for what we call a geometric sum. A geometric sum, uh, which we see highlighted right here. Sn is equal to a1, the first term, which we sometimes just call that one, a. And then we get one minus r to the n over one minus r. All right, so let's look at an example of this. Let's look, find the sum, Sn, the geometric sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence, one over two to the n. Uh, where our sequence looks like one half, one fourth, one eighth. We just take powers of one half, right? Let's let's find uh, the general formula. Well, in this geometric sequence, notice that the first term is one half. We're going to plug that in for our a one right there. But also, if we start taking consecutive terms, right? One fourth divided by one half that equals one half. Uh, that's the same thing as one eighth divided by one fourth, etc. This is our r value. We're going to plug in r is likewise one half in which case then we get something like the following we're going to get one half times one minus one half to the n over one minus one half now one minus one half is itself equal to one half and these one halves will cancel you times by one half and dividing by one half and so your final result the general formula for sn right here is going to be one minus one over two to the n and so we can use this formula to add up together the terms one half plus one fourth plus one eighth, one sixteenth, etc. Right? We can do this quite quickly, in fact. So if we want to do S8, the sum of the first eight powers of one half, so that's one half, one fourth, one eighth, one sixteenth, all the way up to one over two fifty six. This thing will add up just to be one minus one over two fifty six. That is two fifty five over two fifty six. So the numerator will just be one less than the denominator, which is the greatest power of two you see right there. So we could very quickly find out geometric sums if we know the initial value and if we know the constant ratio that defines our geometric sequence.